делу. Hey, good morning guys. So Marley and I came in for about 8 o'clock last night. I kind of set up a quick camp here and I wanted to be able to spend the day here hunting some jackrabbits. Beautiful spot. I'm going to show you guys the area in a little bit. Right now we're just going to pack up the, the tent and secure some things in the Jeep. It was cold last night and this area has thousands of little kangaroo mice and you can hear them scurrying around through the, the grass at night. And so it took a while to get used to the sound just to be able to get to sleep. Really cold but I think it's going to be just a beautiful day. And uh, I'm excited to get started on hunting some rabbits. Hopefully there will be a few of them. So I packed up everything, secured it in the Jeep, and uh, I've set my gun out here just to kind of warm it up, bring the pressure back up. Always good to do that, I like to do it. And right now I'm just getting my bag ready. I always bring a good amount of water for not only myself, but Marley. And then one thing that I wanted to touch on, when I go out in the field, I always got to make sure that my keys are secured in my bag. In other words, you don't want them in your pocket because when we're hiking around or we're sitting down, sometimes they can fall out and you leave them and you walk back to your truck and uh, guess what? You don't have any keys and you're going to have to hopefully be able to find them. And believe me, this is not the place you want to get stuck. It's happened to me before. So if you've got keys, secure them in your bag. Make sure it's securely shut. And I always got my rangefinder here I keep in my pocket. Absolute necessity to have a rangefinder. So right now, Marley and I are going to head off in this direction. You can see there's a lot of rolling hills, beautiful green grass, gorgeous morning. And we're going to just try to get up on the top of these hills and look down the other side and, and hopefully we can find some uh, jackrabbits hanging out in the sun trying to warm up. So we'll hike out there and check back in. one and he's only about 400 yards away so I think we're gonna work down this hill and hopefully we can maybe get a little closer but you can see that's ridiculously far So right now we're just taking a little break and you can see the sagebrush is about knee high up to about waist high and so the jackrabbits tend to kind of hide in this area 
But if you get high enough, you're able to spot their ears and sometimes you can see them moving. And so we're gonna continue hiking. We're about probably five or six miles in. And you can see it's just really vast. There's pretty much nothing out here. And so getting up on this higher ground is really, I think the best way to hunt on. So you can see there's a jackrabbit here. There's a few of them around here. This place is pretty difficult because most of the shots are pretty far. This, this one is probably about 130, 140 yards. So I got this pretty good sized jack at about 75 yards. He's running up a hill out of a gully and it, he stopped and I was able to make a great headshot and Marley went and recovered. There's quite a few out here, but like I said, most of them are just super far away. And it's been difficult to get shots that are kind of close. But as you can see, this place is just beautiful. I mean, it's just, I love hiking around, finding new spots. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I've had a great little trip so far. Right now it's about 12 o'clock, so a little late for our first jack. I'm happy if we just end up uh, taking this home.